So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. I am currently doing a mini series on my channel that is dedicated to all the servicemen and women in honor of Memorial Day. I will link all of the other videos that I do for this series down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. This look, in case you haven't guessed it, is inspired by Air Force. So for all of my Air Force friends and family out there, this one's for you. And before I forget, if you know anyone who was or is in the military, please don't forget to give them a big thank you for their service. This look was quite challenging. I... <laughs> the eyeliner, the eyeshadow, this eyeshadow, I don't know what happened. Usually I don't have a problem with my uh, Urban Decay electric palette, but today it was so chalky and it just kept leaving patches. This is like my third time trying this look. I don't know. It could also be my skin. My skin's been super dry today, so I don't know. Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I was so sleepy this day. I have no idea why, but I just could not stop yawning. Anyways, I'm going to start off by priming my lids with this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm setting that down with this Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. Next, I'm going to jump into my Urban Decay Electric Palette and mix the colors Chaos and Gonzo and apply that as my crease shade. Now, I'm taking this incredible blue ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Coconut and applying that all over the lids and the bottom lash line. So, I didn't have a white or an opaque silver liner so I had to improvise by mixing this shadow called Revolt with my Inglot Duraline to create a custom liner. And I also applied Revolt in my inner corners as well. I created a pretty bold wing with my custom liner and I used a Q-tip dipped in makeup remover to sharpen the edges of it. Then I also decided to use this Revolt shadow as my brow bone highlight as well. Now I'm just curling my lashes and applying this Butter London Double Decker Mascara for more volume. For my waterline, I'm using this blue CoverGirl Liquiline Blast Eyeliner. So sometime around here, I did apply some falsies from e.l.f., but I have no idea what happened to that clip, so yeah. Next, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer to prime my face. Then, I realized I totally forgot about my brows, so I just quickly filled them in using this Tanya Crooks Brow Gal Brow Powder. For foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige. And for concealer, I'm using the usual Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. Now, to set my face, I'm using this Physician's Formula Cover Tox 10 Face Powder. To contour my face, I'm using this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I'm using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. And for highlight, I'm using this blinding one from Ofra Cosmetics called You Glow Girl. Next, for the lips, I decided to go with this beautiful Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. Here, I'm just setting down my face with this Project Beauty Setting Spray. And finally, I decided to be a little extra and add stars above my brows to represent the stars in the Air Force emblems. And I'm using this Star Looks Pro Lux Pen Artist Edition, which actually has a built-in star stamp. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!